Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in Brickfields, a part of Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia and we are going to try something I have been waiting to try for so long, banana leaf. Oh. <laughs> and I'm really excited but first, this is Batu Cave. So we are here in Batu Caves in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and while I like to travel a little bit local you still have to come and see these amazing sites of these tourist attractions sometimes because this is so beautiful. Obviously a lot of Hindu, a lot of Indian people make up the culture here in Malaysia and this is obviously a really special cultural place for them to visit so or see or have here so that's why we're here today and it looks stunning. Okay, so we have started the ascent up these massive staircase. It is so big, it's very colourful, super pretty, really nice. Baby monkey? Attached to that one there. Close oh, to it's eyes. under its belly. Yeah. By the way, there's monkeys here and I haven't seen a monkey before out in the wild. So <laughs> I'm like really scared and nervous. Apparently they can pick at things, so be careful. I'm not sure if they'll take my glasses. The if camera. they do, we're in trouble because I can't see a thing. Um, but they're over there up on these uh, on this big fence next to the stairs just oh, look at the city in the background okay i'm four steps up and i'm tired i'm not gonna lie i'm, I'm tired already So where we are heading right now to the shrine is one of the most popular and most visited hindu shrines outside of india if I'm breathing really heavy it's because I'm climbing this massive staircase <laughs> and it's actually quite hard it's very steep it's almost vertical this statue out the front is Lord Maruyan I believe tell me in the comments below how to say it properly but he's 43 meters high which is about 140 141 feet so it's very tall and he took three years to build oh, we're walking up these stairs now and it's tough these were wooden at one point so imagine it being like this hard to climb up but also like unstable and falling apart as well and they actually did fall apart which is why these ones were built in its place and it's been these stairs ever since these really colorful vibrant very vertical and hard to climb stairs <laughs> i've never seen monkeys out before i haven't been to bali haven't been to like where they like i haven't been i didn't even go to places in thailand where they really had them i've never seen monkeys i think they're staring at me i'm scared <laughs> Oh, they're kind of cute, aren't they? Oh, 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 and it's got a baby like clinging to its belly and stuff. Oh, look at it. Oh, that is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we're just like climbing on it. They fall just wrap around, don't they? They just hang on for dear life, those little babies. She just runs. <laughs> That's so cool. What you doing? She eating? Funny yeah. food? The baby's nice. So oh. Okay, so I just made it to the top. There's about 270 something stairs. So almost 300 stairs. I'm in probably the worst condition of my life right now and I made it up. So you can too, believe me. But from up the top here, everyone down below looks like ants. Like we're so high up. It's actually kind of crazy. And in here is the shrine and all of this limestone you see inside this cliff, they believe is like 400 million years old or something like that, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we got in the cave and then we walked across the inside and it's like paved, it's got some um, things up on the side of the cave as well. And there's a group down there singing and doing like their songs, which is pretty interesting to listen to. We've unfortunately picked half of a rainy day. So there's lots of water falling on, on us right now as where we're walking up to through a second set of stairs is like an open top part of the cave. So you can see the sky through the top. And because it was raining a little bit, I feel like there's a lot more water here than usual. Wow, oh, that's it up there. Whoa. The monkey, they're screaming. The monkey wants the food. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he's coming. Oh, oh there's so many. they has got bananas. Look. Oh, he's trying to... They're following him with the bananas. 
Oh. 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 Okay. All right. I feel like they stare at you as you walk past, <laughs> just to make sure you don't have any food or something. Okay, so we just made our way down the stairs. Almost got attacked by monkeys a few times. <laughs> Close calls. That was my first experience seeing monkeys. That's crazy. But now we're heading down and we're going back to show you some special food. Something I've been so excited to try since coming here to Malaysia. And you can get here a couple of ways. We're getting back on the train, which is not far of a walk. And you go past this beautiful like waterfall sort of greenery part. Um, or you can get a grab. So we got a grab up here. And then we're going to get the train back down into our next destination. Let's go. Okay, so we just got off at the central station and right near central there's an area called Brickfields, which is also known as Little India and it is awesome. I love it. We stayed sort of near here in Bangsar as well. I love this area. It's got these like arc sort of things in a very traditional style. I love it. It looks pretty and we're going to find some of the best food here. I'm really excited. Let's have a look. It has just started raining on us, but there is a little sort of street market mini one going on back here while we look for this banana leaf I'm trying to protect my camera but it's really cool and I've got like vegetables greens all of this like spices as well delicious I've been waiting to try this for so long. Um, I had a taste the other day of eating with my hands at the roti and I really like it. So everyone else is doing it here as well and I'm really excited. My favorite. My mouth's watering. <laughs> we went over there and they had like the um, bain marie's full of like curries and sauces and like chickens and things like that. It's so sweet. Sweet? Yeah. Yum. Thank you. A couple of things, we have cabbage, we have, I'm not, I didn't quite hear what that was. We have a whole bunch of rice and he just came over and said that this is something sweet, which I'm excited for. It's like a little yellow round ball. Yes. Thank you. Spicy? Oh, no, no. Spicy. no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm not very good with spice, so that wouldn't have worked very well. <laughs> we have a poppadom added as well, and I love poppadoms. I love bread. We also have a mango lassi and a Milo ice on the way. If you know me, can't miss my Milo ice. So, I'm right. just eat it with my right hand. Okay. Mix it together with your right hand. And just eat. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah, that didn't go the best. Try and squeeze it together more so you make a ball. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, it's actually harder than it looks. All over your face, babe. All over your face. Oh, yeah. Right, get it all together. That's good. I'm not sure what that is. It's a little bit spicy. Oh, yes, thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, okay, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> Milo ice is my favorite. So, here we have a mango lassi, and it's like a mango, kind of like a milkshake, but it has like yogurt and stuff in it as well. Um, and I really liked it back home, so let's see how this one compares. Oh, even better. Like, way better. Like a Nice mango yogurt smoothie. Mm, I love, I love that. I love not as much as cheese crackers or roti. What's the sweet thing? Oh yeah, I don't know. It's like a sweet ball that he told me about. Very compact. It's a very compact little ball. I'm not actually sure what it is. If you know what that is, tell me in the comments below because I'd be really interested to know. Oh, the flavour of that green one is really nice. Like really nice. I'm not sure what it reminds me of. That's delicious. Okay, so we've just come out of the banana leaf that I've tried for the first time. Um, I don't think I've got the hang of that yet. <laughs> I might take a few chances or a few tries to get the like scooping motion into your mouth, but it is pouring down rain here in Brickfields right now. Most of the vendors down this street are kind of like half undercover. And so we should be able to go through here and pick up a couple of Indian traditional desserts, hopefully. So let's just see what they have. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Five? 
thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Ooh. So this is Pani Puri, which is one of the most, I think, popular street foods in India. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I think. And they're like this little like ball of like pastry and it's filled with like this like flavored water. It has like some like mashed potato, maybe some chickpeas or something. I think the actual thing, like round ball itself, is meant to be a little bit sweet while the water's a little bit sour. I'm pretty sure. Never seen this before in my life, so this is pretty cool. I like it. Oh, it's so spicy. Oh, it's so <laughs> spicy. I can definitely, this is so confusing because I can taste the, the sweetness, but I'm crying because it's so spicy. <laughs> it's actually, most of it is sweet. That's the confusing part. But then you get hit with a little bit of like chili and I can definitely taste that sour part in it as well. Like overall, this is really nice. I just, it's a bit too spicy for, <laughs> for me. Look, it's, it's honestly a kind of a bit of a messy snack, but I'm learning since being in Kuala Lumpur that messy usually means tastier, so. I'm not mad about that. All right, we're heading through here now, and I think I need something to take away that spice. The rain is everywhere. I need something to neutralize my tongue because I am on fire. My mouth is on fire right now. Right Thank you so much. Okay, everyone's huddling under the shade <laughs> from the, all the rain. So I asked him what this is. I saw some sweet ones, and he told me it was palqua. Palqua? Palqua. Milk one. It, <laughs> and it's the color of milk. So that's really cool. I also tried a coconut one from him before um, I thought I'd just try this and see how it goes. And the coconut one was really, really nice too. So we'll see how this one tastes in comparison. All right, so this one is milk and sweet. Two of my favorite things. Very chewy, really sweet, really good. Kind of like a fudge. That's probably the best thing I can, I can think of, like a fudge. I love Indian cuisine. It's one of my favorite things. So Brookfield was, high up on my list of things to do here in Kuala Lumpur. If you like Indian food, if you like any of that cuisine, you have to come here. I think it is a must-see in Kuala Lumpur. I loved it. If you want to pair it with the same sort of theme, you can visit Batu Caves like we did as well this morning, which is a big tourist hotspot. But if you like this video, I know you're going to like one of the ones on the screen also from Malaysia. And make sure you like and subscribe if you like my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm.